crafty cuties welcome back to my channel today I am hopefully going to show you a little bit better how I do a cross stitch this is how I sew all of my signatures into my junk journals at least right now and I have shown you how to cover a hard cover in the past um, these are three signatures that I will be sewing into this hardcover book I only use hardcover books at least now and so we have our hardcover we have our three signatures typically I like to sew these in after they're decorated but just to be able to show you a little bit easier I wanted to do it blank I have a piece of graph paper I'll show you how I cut that down in a moment a pin something to poke holes with you can use a tack or um, really anything that's sharp at the end this isn't all and I got this at I think paper source online you of course are going to need a needle I use a pretty big needle because I like to use pretty thick thread and so just make sure that your needle is big enough for the thread that you choose and today I am using embroidery thread However, my favorite to use is actually waxed uh, linen thread, I believe it's called. I get this from Paper Source online, and I just ordered some more. I'm about all out, as you can see. So uh, just for the sake of almost running out, I'm using embroidery thread. I've never had an issue with this in the past. Okay, so to measure how much thread you're going to need, you want to consider how many signatures you have. So. Um, we are going to be basically sewing two at a time and so if I have three signatures I'm going to be sewing these two in together and then when I sew this third one in I will sew this in with the middle signature I hope that makes sense so if you had two or sorry so if you had four signatures you would sew two in and then you would sew the next two in but since I have an odd number I will be sewing this middle signature twice you'll see what I mean when we get there so because I'm going to be doing two sewing sessions, I need two separate pieces of thread or embroidery thread, whatever. Um, and to measure what I do, I do four times the length of the book. That always seems to be good for me. So you can see I have one, two, three, four. I always like to do a little bit extra because I do like some to hang down sometimes, or you know, I just feel better having extra. So I have two of those ready to go. Now we need to measure where our holes are gonna go. I figured I would just show you all in one video um, rather than it, assume that you guys know how to do this part. I like to use graph paper because graph paper is going to make it very easy to where we don't have to use a ruler. Okay, so I cut my graph paper down to the exact size of the spine of my book. I literally just put the graph paper on and kind of folded it in. I should have showed you, but I think you guys can get the point. Um, so now that we have this, the exact size of our spine, we need to mark three rows of holes, okay? You can put any number of holes that you want. Starting out, I would suggest doing three. It's a good number. So we're gonna have three rows of three holes, okay? So what I like to do is for the very first for, for the very first set of holes, I like my middle signature to be in the dead center of the spine, okay? You don't have to do it this way, this is just how I do it. So, how are we gonna get the center? We're just gonna fold this in half. Just make sure this is nice and straight. I am not a perfectionist, you don't have to be either. Okay, so now we know that our middle row is going to be on that line, okay? Now what I do from here to find the additional rows, I like to just, since I'm using graph paper, I can see how many squares I have, which I have three, and I will just go um, over halfway. So you can fold this into the center again if you want. Um, I usually just eyeball it, but I'll do that just to show you. So I hope this makes sense. So I'm folding this side into the middle and this side. And then now we have very even spacing. Now we can know where the holes are going on our graph paper. Okay, since I'm gonna do three holes, I'm actually going to fold this in half like this. Okay, and then again, fold the bottom into the center. I know it's hard to see, so just give me a sec and I will mark down with a pen where the holes are. And I'm going to fold this one into the center. Now we have even spacing. We have three rows and three holes where all of the um, fold lines cross. Let me mark these and I'll show you. 
there we go now we have a guide for the holes and maybe it's not even perfect but it's close enough for me and now I am going to mark these holes or sorry I am going to poke these holes into the book I actually use this guide and I just hold it in place I use an old book to lay this on top of to poke the holes into if you have a mat or something like that you can do that so i'm going to start out by just poking the holes where my black dots are okay so this goes through nice and good okay we got our whoops sorry guys i'm kind of at a weird angle here now if you're using more signatures than three you do just make make sure that you are evenly spacing them and you want to keep in mind, you know, how big are your signatures? I always kind of know what size of a spine I need. Um, you might want to decorate yours first and then create the hardcover. That's how I used to do it, but now I have a pretty good idea. And since these are just plain signatures, I don't have to worry really too much about space. I'm sending this to Denise and uh, she will be kind of, she can decorate it however she wants, but there definitely will be space. Okay. Now I'm just gonna finish, whoops, that moved a little, so I'm just gonna make sure I have it lined up really good, and I will poke these holes right here, and I'll be right back. So our holes are all punched, and now we need to punch these signatures in the exact same order. So you want to make sure that you know where the top is at your um, of your guide, just in case you didn't space exactly uh, even. Okay, so this is my top. So I wanna make sure this is at the top of my signature when I'm punching the holes. So for this part, all I do is I just use the middle holes here, the middle holes on our guide, and I take our signatures. Now, if you already have these decorated, I would suggest using paper clips to hold everything together. Okay, I'm just using paper, so nothing's really going to move around. I take my guide, I place it in the middle of my signature, and I have these signatures just a little bit shorter than the book. So as you can see, there is overhang from our guide, okay? So I'm going to make sure that is evenly spaced. Again, I'm eyeballing it, but I'm making sure that it's pretty even on both sides. Okay, and that is, make, make sure to check that. And then just go ahead and poke the holes where you see the black hole marks again. And you're going to repeat this on all three of your signatures or however many you have. And really make sure that you are getting through all of your papers. Make sure that you are getting it right in the middle so that you don't accidentally punch a hole, you know, on the side here. So I'll continue this with my other signatures. All three of the signatures are now punched. They're ready to be sewn into our book. So I did go ahead and add some paper clips on the sides just so you could see what I was talking about. So you can see that I have a paper clip on each side of the signature just to hold everything into place so that when we're sewing, we don't have to worry about anything opening at the wrong uh, page kind of thing. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and thread my needle. And again, I'm using a pretty big needle here so it's not too hard. Just gonna make sure that I get all the thread through here. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to leave just a little tail. I don't go all the way through. I'm not double threading this. You can, that's just preference, you know, it just depends on what you want. And we're going to start by sewing in the last signature, so all the way to the right and the middle. The very first hole we will be um, sewing through is going to be the last signature, and we're going to go through the middle hole. So you want to start by going from the inside of the signature to the outside of the cover. Make sure that you are lining everything up correctly. Gonna go all the way through. Now, whoops, since we didn't knot this at the end, I don't suggest knotting it. We're gonna pull all the way through and I'm going to use a little washi tape to hold this in place. So I have some washi holding this in place so that we can make sure to pull this tight and make sure that the book's going to be in um, as tight as possible. Then we are going to sew, we're gonna, so take your middle signature now, just place it inside right on top. And now we are going to go to the top hole of the middle signature. I made these holes kind of big so you guys could really see. So top hole of the middle signature. Now, of course, you're going to have to kind of go back and forth between 
the outside to the inside so that you can see where you are poking the hole. So I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in a little bit here so that you can see a little bit better hopefully. Okay, so I like to open my signature to the middle. So since we have those paper clips holding it inside, that really helps. And I just want to make sure that I'm guiding this right into the top hole of the middle signature. Okay. There we go. So we have our cross started. Now we are going to go out the middle hole of the middle signature. So right down here. Okay, so we're going to go out the second to the outside of the book. Make sure that you are pulling this all the way through. Nice and tight, and we can always tighten up at the end, but try to keep it as tight as you can when you go. So now that we are out on the bottom, or sorry, out on the uh, middle, we are going to now go up and we're gonna make our first cross. We're going into the top hole of that first signature, or it would really be the last signature. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up, kind of make sure that I am guiding this. This is the part that's kind of hard to show you guys because I move this around a lot, like up to my face. <laughs> Not even joking. Okay, so I'm gonna try to guide that in. It is a little tricky, but it's definitely possible, guys. Um, and it is much easier when it's like not at one little level here. So go in, there we go. Make sure that you pull that all the way. And you have completed your first cross. Okay, we're not done yet. We're gonna go down to the bottom hole and out the bottom hole. Okay, we're gonna pull this all the way through. Now we're going to go back up to that middle hole and the middle signature. Again, you're gonna have to kind of start to put the needle through. Open your book back up. Make sure that one just went right on in. That does happen a lot when you have things lined up really well. Okay, now we're gonna go down to the bottom hole of this middle signature. And now we're gonna make our second cross and we're gonna go back in the center hole of that last signature, which was really the first, but you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, pull that all the way through. Now you've completed this first part. If you were only doing two signatures, you would be done now. So to tie this off, go ahead and take your washi off if you had tied that down carefully. You want to make sure that your string or that your thread once one piece is on one side of this middle piece here and then one is on the other. This is where you want to make sure to tie this pull really tight. Make sure that everything is tight on here before you tie off. And if it's not tight, just kind of you figure out where you need to pull to tighten everything up. So I'm gonna tie this off now. And so you've basically tied around that middle string because this middle string is actually just going from the top to the bottom here. Hope that makes sense. I like to do a double knot and then you can either trim or you can leave some on here to add like some decorations. That's what some people do. I'll add, I'll leave some just in case the recipient wants to add something hanging from there. Okay guys, so now it is time to re-thread our needle. Sure, you can just get a super long piece if you wanted, but I guarantee it's actually really hard to have the longer the thread the more difficult it is so i would recommend just having two because i don't know that's just what works for me okay so this is threaded now we're going to take the first signature and one other thing to keep in mind is the hole that you start in is the hole that you are going to end in so that's why i am going to start in this middle hole of our signature. We're going to pull that all the way through, just leaving a little bit. And I will add again, a little bit of washi. I know this is kind of a long video, but I really want to just show you guys in depth because it's really intimidating starting this out. And I think that the more 
you see the uh, easier it is to try on your own. Okay, so now we're out the middle here. And now we're going to be sewing into that middle signature again. Okay guys, so same process. We're going to go into the top hole of that middle signature. So this is where it gets a little tricky because you kind of have to just, I don't know, you kind of have to play around with it a little bit and really make sure that that needle is going into where it needs to go. Um, but you can kind of see from the side of that middle signature if you need, you can kind of see where the needle is going. But okay, it, and again, it just went right in because I have things lined up really well. This is also easier to do when um, these aren't full. Okay, so now we are going to go down to the middle hole of the middle signature and back out. Okay, and then we're going to complete our first cross on this last signature. So up to the top here. Oops, and I'm gonna turn that around just because it's easier for me to see. And you can see that needle is not going in the right spot. So I'm just going to realign things here Oops. and go in just very slowly so I can kind of make sure that it's going where it needs to go before I lit it. Okay. And now we are going back down to the bottom. Not back down because we haven't been here yet, but <laughs> we're going to the bottom. Pull it through. Whoop, almost came off, but I cut it. And make sure this isn't getting caught on the paper clips. That does happen. Gonna go to the middle hole once again. Let's see if that lined up okay, or if I need to re-guide that. Oh, there we go. And if you forget where you're at, just look. So I need to go to the bottom. and out the bottom and we will complete that second cross so up we go to the middle and what did i say we're going to end up in the same hole that we started and then you can go ahead and make sure everything's tied again tie off and you just completed your first cross stitch, or maybe it's your second, or maybe it's not your first, or who knows? <laughs> you have completed it. Here we go, going to double knot, and then you can go ahead and take your clips off. I'm going to clip this right here. And there you go. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I hope this was easier to see than when I did the live video. It was a little hectic doing that live video, but, um, and now you can decide, do you like that cross stitch to be exposed? Do you want to uh, cover it up? I personally like it. These holes do look a little big on this one, so um, it might bother some people. You can easily cover this up with lace or um, book cloth, like anything. I personally love it, so I would keep it, and since I'm sending this to someone, she can decorate it however she likes. I do like the embroidery floss because it comes in so many different colors. I do think that it's pretty durable, but again, I mentioned that I really like this wax linen thread, and I get it from Paper Source. So, there you go, guys. I hope that you will have fun making your own journals, and um, it's been a pleasure making them for you guys and showing you how I make them. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.